My name is Maggie Harvey, and I'm the program director for Serve Yamapai, uh, Serve Tucson, and now what we're calling Arizona Serve. I was recruited in 2006 by a woman named Angie Cole to come work out in Prescott Valley with Youth Count. Working with Matt Force and the coalition and the strong leadership of Matt Force, including Sheila Polk, we worked to put together community forums and we held about 18 of them all throughout rural Yavapai County asking community members what they think would work in fighting specifically methamphetamine use and abuse and um, we got some really cool answers and we did this community forum process that really engaged local residents who maybe had never been asked before uh, what would work and from there Matt Forrest went on to be kind of a leader in the state and in the nation in methamphetamine uh, drug programming. Um, developing the bonds that of the people that I served with. I mean, I, these are lifelong friends, and we've kind of been flung across the world now. There's folks in uh, the middle of the country, there's folks in England, there's uh, one of us is in uh, India and has been for the last six months, but we still keep in touch. So I would love to say that it was something altruistic about how much change I created in the community, but really what I took away most personally from that was the relationships that I built with the people that I served with they are just incredible women. The culture of this place being so prone to collaboration, already thinking about collaboration, cross-agency, um, that really made a difference um, in the way that I thought about how we build this project and it's really shifted the way that I think about my work going into the future. So community collaboration was one of it for sure, curriculum design, learning about national service, um, really falling in love with national service and, and what it's capable of doing. I don't know if I really actually chose, <laughs> to be completely honest. I, um, I finished my term of service and knew that what we were doing with the VISTA program at that time was the beginning the tip of the iceberg of what was possible in this community and the demand that I was seeing in these communities um, was inspiring almost because I kept thinking if we could bring in more people to do more work we could do so much here because this community is so receptive to, to national service particularly. I mean, what we talk about the most often are things like Big Brothers Big Sisters, which was founded by VISTA way before 2006, but still a VISTA program. Um, the Prescott Area Women's Shelter, which was founded by a VISTA member that we brought in from Massachusetts, uh, Ali Capinto. Before she came to open a women's shelter, she ran a butterfly estuary. <laughs> and we recruited her, and she helped Yamapai County dream up, envision, and open its first shelter really for homeless women and children. Um, it's not a domestic violence shelter, but it is a shelter for women uh, in crisis. And that shelter has grown and um, developed, and now it's expanding to reach family shelter. I think it's important um, when you think about communities like Yavapai County to remember that this community is somewhat um, somewhat new in its pursuit of some of these challenges. You know, this is the shelters that we're opening, these teen centers that we're opening, are literally the first ones in the area here. Um, we aren't opening competing shelters. <laughs> um, so I think really what, what VISTA has done for this community is take some of the really good ideas, some of the ideas that everyone has wanted to be able to move on but hasn't had the capacity to do so, and put some energy behind them and get them moving. Um, and that's the work that I'm most proud of VISTA doing here, is just being the kind of the engine and the driving force behind what we know as a community we should already be doing. So there's the community benefit, right? Like these rural communities, um, they don't need VISTA. They could do it without us, but we speed things up <laughs> a lot. Um, and then of course there's the benefit to the numbers. You know, I, I am amazed 
by the stories and the people that I've been able to serve with and support in service over the last six years. We've had about 120, 130 VISTA members come through our program in the last six years and now they're all out there in the world doing wonderful things and some of them are here in Yavapai County and others of them are in Massachusetts running teen centers and you know they're they're all over the globe doing powerful amazing work that was informed by what they did here at Yavapai, in Yavapai County and I think I mean, VISTA is important for all of those reasons.